This is on TV about the facts, yeah. Facts, facts, facts. Crime was up this weekend. Facts, facts, facts. And there was some attacks on the police, y'all. Three lives were lost. And a couple of targets on the police. None of the police was injured, but a few people lost their lives, you know. So I guess now, after Tyrese Nichols and the brutality in his murder, police are now targeted. Wow. Let's listen. He said they didn't have the Lord in their life. Wasn't raised in church. Not God fearing. Now I, I believe that. That part I believe. But that doesn't necessarily mean you have to go to church every Sunday to be God fearing. But you gotta have a foundation in the Lord. You have to have a relationship in the Lord. Now that I do agree. But a lot of these people don't believe in God. Their lives the problem. That's a problem within itself. But some people don't don't believe in God because they don't want to be, you know, have to be held responsible to any, this whole generation just feel like they just free willy nearly. They don't have to follow nobody's structure, nobody's rules, nobody regulations. They just gonna do what they want to do. And Believing and trusting in God, you you have a foundation and there's a structure. And that's happened to somebody over you. They don't like that. Police were called to South Memphis along Preston for a suspicious call. What they discovered was a woman dead from an apparent gunshot wound. Maple Leaf Cove in South Another Memphis, location. Memphis where detectives responded to yet another shooting. The victim was found several miles away, critically injured. Living in a sort of war zone is how those living close to Maple Leaf Cove off camera describe the area. They're telling oh, us wow. this is not the first time this year alone, police have been called to this community and they are concerned it won't be the last. A man was pronounced dead Sunday. along Mill Stream Drive in Whitehaven. It's really sad. Especially knowing officers may have been targeted. Detectives say police were shot at in the area of Mount Moriah in Emerald. For them, a man was pronounced dead here along Mill Stream Drive in Whitehaven. It's really sad. It's really sad. Especially knowing officers may have been targeted. Detectives say police were shot at in the area of Mount Moriah in Emerald. Fortunately, no officers were hit, but a squad car was. Minutes later, around 4.30 p.m., I-240 at Perkins Road is where another shooting victim was found before being rushed to the hospital fighting to survive. And then another man was shot on uh, Kruger. He didn't make it. Where another shooting victim was found before being rushed to the hospital fighting to survive. Sadly, a man shot just before 10 p.m. Sunday along Kruger Road did not make it, leaving many. I agree, enough is enough. In Tom with no back window and no tags and a passenger window covered with a green towel. If wow. Now it's North Memphis. Deadly shooting in North Memphis early this morning. The shooting spree is back on. The killing spree is back. But now, not only are they killing each other, now they're trying to uh, kill the police. Wow. They said the victim's name is Little Ted. He's normally a homebody, they say. 
I wonder what lured him out. He was going over here. He normally don't be out this late. So, like I said, if he was out here, he was going to be somebody aunt is asking anyone who knows anything to come forward. I'm hurting. I'm hurting. And I, I, I really, I really hope that they will come clean and tell somebody something. You can't hide too long. The streets talk. There's one thing for sure. The streets do talk. We gonna find out something in a flip. It's together on a Brown Avenue between the North Hollywood and Springdale streets in North Memphis early Monday morning after getting a knock on their door telling them a family member had been shot. No. Came to my mama house and let her know that it was my brother on the phone. So she came to my mama house and let her know that it was my brother on the ground. Family identifying the victim as 25-year-old Javola Crawford, also known as Lil Ted. They say not only are they heartbroken by the killing, but surprised he was out so late. He kind of like a homebody, he don't be out, he don't party. Y'all hit the like button for Auntie Fee. Stay to yourself. According to MPD, yeah. officers were called. This is very similar to that. Uh, is it Jarvin Hill, the barber from Chris Styles? Uh, Chris Styles Celebrity Barbershop was doing that house call at one something in the morning, try, about to leave. Uh, him, he got shot at the door. Very similar. So when she said it's like a setup thing going on, this sounds familiar. Can y'all hit the like button for Auntie Fee? <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say, don't you? I'll wait. This is sad, y'all. I'm gonna set it down while y'all hit the like button. Thank you. So, like I said, if he was out here, it had to be somebody to call him. It's kind of like a setup thing going on, and that's what we feel like. According to MPD, officers were called to the area around 1.30 Monday morning regarding an accident. When they arrived, they found the victim shot. He was pronounced dead on the scene. His family is upset that five hours after police showed up, their loved one was still on the ground uncovered. 
his 12-year-old brother saying he just lost his best friend. Bless the family. I wouldn't even be able to hug him, tell him I love him no more. This just messed up how they did him. The victim's aunt is asking anyone who knows anything to come forward. I'm hurting. I'm hurting. And I, I, I really, I really hope that they will come clean and tell somebody something. You can't hide too long. The streets talk. There's one thing for sure. The streets do talk. We gonna find out something in a flip. His family says he in leaves a flip. behind a two-year-old daughter. That mean in a minute. Can y'all hit the like button for Auntie Fee? I got another crime alert. Killing spree back on. It's back on and popping. After she says her home has been shot up multiple times this month. This is at a lady's Frazier's home. They counted over two dozen bullet holes in Frazier. Off of North Watkins. So this is in a bedroom. Oh, wow. That bullet hole is right above her 16-year-old son's head in his bedroom. Wow. Y'all, oh my goodness. This is crazy. Miss Clark said this started last week. Who are they after? Y'all, that killing spree is back. You know, and, and right now, I'm a really, especially with the cops, everybody dirty, everybody shooting, everybody killing. It's time for people to start contacting family people out of town and uh, leaving Memphis. I've been saying it for over a year. <laughs> this don't make no sense. How do you come home? Oh, wow. Let's listen. Look at her at the, in the window. And then the, the, the car that's shooting at the police, the Nissan back window already out in the passenger uh, side window got a green tile and they just driving around shooting at folks, shooting at police. This is what's going on, y'all. This is... this. This is as serious as it gets. That's Until next time. Yes. Fast, fast, fast. Fast, fast, fast. They killing. They killing. Innocent people. Intentional people. Everybody. Y'all be careful. Ain't nobody safe. Fast, fast. Y'all, when will it stop? We got to pray for Memphis and the surrounding cities. Peace.